Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys back again and especially if you watched yesterday's video, I am so sorry. It's surprising that anybody wants to come back and see a blubbering idiot again. I guess we all have uh, emotional days, but I'm sorry I kind of unloaded on you guys. So I hope you accept my apology for that. And moving forward, we are on mini vlogmas number 17. I'm also going to try to do my Ipsy glam bag regular. And to start, we will show you the ugly Christmas sweater of the day. So this one's like a the buffalo plaid again. We've got some ribbons and a little to and from tag right here. So just a little fun to wear, some, some outfits here and there. But uh, yeah, so I'm excited to uh, be in a better frame of mind today. Not so emotional, but I suppose maybe those days are just, they're just gonna hit us, right? So anyway, it's time to shine. And that's the theme of this month's bag from December. And uh, one thing about the Ipsy Glam bag, um, and usually, I think I've only had one that they didn't put the uh, contents in here, but it will tell you everything that's in here, a little bit about how to do it, whether you have a full size or a deluxe sample. It does give you some values, and it just says, I think that's, I don't know if that means anything because everybody's probably different. But um, yeah, so they say the value of every bag is at least going to be over $50. So, uh, you know, when I did sign up to get that uh, deal with that they had that you could still get this for if you signed up to do the annual, it was $11 a month. So for $11 a month, I think it's totally worth it. Um, the bag this month is a nice little sparkly. It's kind of like a peachy pink. And the inside is like a felt felt so I think this is going to be really nice um, to put in, in your purse your pocketbook maybe put some glasses in here or some reading glasses so that they don't get scratched up with the soft felt in there so so that's going to be really nice um, they did give us a couple of choices I well they actually I think they gave us quite a lot of choices but I like I said you know this hashtag Nancy has no idea I don't know really what really what I like I know that I like math so I picked out the math so we got the, both from the creme shop and baby it's cold outside or cold outside it's uh snowing <coughs> oh, sorry about that knock my glasses off let's knock my glasses off on that one i think it's about 15 degrees and it's snowing outside it was five degrees this morning so gold outside and tis the season and to be lovely so anyway going to enjoy using those next we have a scalp scrub by Grow Gorgeous. So I'm gonna see how that works. I know sometimes, you know, I use a lot of leave-in conditioners and hairspray, which doesn't look like it's working right now. So I think this scalp scrub is gonna be good for that. This, I first thought it was like a highlighter or a corrector, but I did read it and it's, uh, it's called a Variance Eye Contour, but it does have caffeine in it and it's supposed to help with some puffiness um, under the eye, so we know that is going to get used. Next, we got this lip pencil, and I don't know, I have a couple, I don't always remember to use them, but I think this is going to be a good color for me. I think I'm too far away with stuff on my lap for it to focus, and of course, it's upside down. Maybe it's still upside down, but anyway, I think that will be a good color for me. It's kind of like a neutral kind of brownie bronze but I think that'll that'll be a good one it felt nice and creamy going on too and uh, lastly we have a blush and it's uh, called candy apple and um, I know blushes don't always show up too much on me especially when I sit here in front of the ring the ring light and don't know which way my eyes are my hair is going but yeah I think this is gonna be a, a nice color for me so let's see if I can get some out not sure if you can see it but it's uh, right here it just uh gets a nice little healthy glow so I think that'll be a nice color for me so that was everything in my ipsy regular glam bag <coughs> that was 
Uh, yeah, so this is $11 for that. And then I also wanted to mention that I wanted to uh, use this Yens of this um, foundation, whatever the BB and CC means. And I do have that on today. I think this was a, a good color for me that they picked. Um, had an SPF of 40, so that makes me feel good about going out um, in the sun with a foundation that's got some SPF in it. Plus, you can always put something over and... Um, Let's see if I put it up here. I can see what the color is. Maybe it's on the back. Oh, I'm sure it's probably... It's called Medium Warm. Which, if I had heard that name, I never would have picked that out for myself. But I think it was a good color match for my skin. So, and I, I do like it. It is a heavier color coverage than I'm used to. Um, but I think that it, it blended well. It, um... I, I mean, my scar was always going to show up, but I think it did kind of hide it a little bit, maybe kind of soften it. So, um, yeah, I'm going to enjoy using this. My coffee of the day, and of course I'm back on tea for a while, but I do have a box of some of these somewhere, probably from last year. That's still good. So this one is the Donut Shop Peppermint Bark. And yeah, and when I picked up my creamer the other day, I got more whipped cream, so when I'm ready for my coffee, this is going to be good. And I know I mentioned the other day that, um, you know, I was going to put my things in a little coffee cup that I have by my Keurig. So I just got one of these that I just put things in every now and then. So, yeah, that's my little coffee cup. Alrighty, so now on to the wine. So the wine that we picked today, um, it's a Cabernet Sauvignon with Merlot so that should be kind of like a maybe like a medium to full-bodied wine um, and yeah and like I said I used to be terrified to even try these wines but I am really enjoying them and I'm just gonna have a couple of sips because I think I'm gonna lie down and have some tea after but swirl it around here so it's got some different flavors in here, or scents, fragrances. So I think I'm smelling some heavy, darker fruits like plum and blackberry. Sweeter size, like maybe some cherry. Um, something that soften it, so maybe vanilla. It may be a combination of... <coughs> <coughs> oh, Gorsita, sorry. I, yeah, the cough is back. But anyway. Cheers, everyone. I hope you, everyone is having a great season, a great holiday season, and wish everybody the best. So, cheers. So this, I mean, even my teeth feel like they dried out on this one, but it's still not overwhelming or anything like that, but it is dry. Going down, I could smell so much in here, but tasting it, it's not as strong as I thought it would be. It's uh, still kind of mild, it's a heavy body, but it's got this kind of smoothness, smoothness and a velvety texture, kind of like a something like got melted chocolate or something in it. And it just kind of softens all the flavors. Um, and again, it's kind of reminds me of tobacco, of like a tobacco shop when you walk in, you know, for the pipes. And they've got all these different tobaccos, whether it's cherry or bourbon or whatever, and you just have that sense of tobacco. That's what it reminds me of. Just kind of another sip to confirm that. Yeah, so pretty much sticking to my story on that. Alrighty, and you know, and then I didn't open one of the chocolates yesterday and this was um, when I went to work and um, one of the, the guys at work called his wife and let him let him know that hey Nancy's in for a few minutes and whatever talked about me you know how bad I looked or whatever you know and she was the one that told him that I needed chocolates so he went out to get one I don't think he knows what it was for but maybe she explained to him afterwards <coughs> but anyway so this is the what was it called again the Ferrero collection. So it's usually kind of like chocolatey with <coughs> <coughs> it's 
some hazelnuts. I don't know if I'm going to eat a whole one, but I will definitely take a taste of this. So, yeah, so thank you so much for telling your hubby to go out and do it. And thanks, my co-worker, for listening to his wife. Because, you know, all husbands don't listen to their wives. And so I picked this one that's, um, I think one's dark chocolate, one's a milk chocolate. And then I don't know what this one is. But... But we will we will check it out together. Right now it's kind of like foil that's stuck with. I wouldn't think I would have trouble opening this, but I did. Oh, it's kind of like coconutty feeling. I don't know. I don't know if that text just gonna come out, but it's white. There's maybe coconut flakes that are coming off it. So let's give this a try. Mm. Mm. This is different. It's like a cream in the middle. Really soft. It's definitely coconut. And some, some hazelnuts. This is good. I think I am going to finish that. Anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for stopping in. And um, again, I apologize for yesterday. And I hope everyone goes out and has a great day, a great weekend. And we'll chat again tomorrow. I've probably got coconut all over my lips now. So, bye-bye, everyone. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.